Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Bone Crusher. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. good use of this advantage in reach. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee.
Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Lee circling towards the left side now. Two minutes to go in round one. Right hand flex. Damaging strike there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch there by Lee. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Glancing right hand upstairs. And they separate. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And there comes the separation now. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that game. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Let's go. Look for that big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. to the midsection. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds left to go in round two. 
Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. opposition in this division. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at the... Th How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punch over the top. Slips to avoid the right. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Missed with that attempt. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, here we go. Trying to establish that. that kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a board attack. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. And now he's got hurt bad. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Final seconds of round three. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Good right hand right there. I mean, he's cutting down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Good. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Sick kick lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Blocks the shot. Not there. Oh! Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of struggle. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. And they separate. He blocks the punch. his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Understanding the transition. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Effective punch there by Lee. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the huge elbow there. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now.
deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. My bottom fighter here maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half of Oh! Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. That's a big strike right there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big legs. <laughs> All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Lee! Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 